Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Doing a beginner video today, I wanna to show you how to use the Samsung Galaxy J7 Star. And we're just gonna go over all the basics for a first time smartphone user or someone, um, yeah, basically first time smartphone user, that's it. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, first thing we're gonna go over is just the buttons on the phone. So on the left side, you will have a volume up, volume down. And on the right here, you'll have the power and the standby button. So when you press it once, it will wake up the phone. Press it again, it puts the phone to sleep. So the phone is still on, um, it's just asleep. Keep that in mind. So press it there, and to, un to unlock the phone or to get into the phone, you just take your phone and you drag it across the screen. Sorry, if it goes off, you gotta start over. Press it and just put your phone on the screen and just drag it across, and that's how you unlock the phone or how you get into the phone. Once in the phone, we have a couple of buttons on the front here. Uh, so we have our home button. And this button is simply just, it always takes you back to the main screen. So no matter what you're doing, if you wanna get back to this screen, you're gonna press your home button. So if I go to, uh, for example, the internet, if I go to Chrome, and I wanna search something online, you know, I'm here. If I want to go back to the main screen, I just press this button and it takes you back home. So that always gets you back home if you ever press on the wrong thing or you find yourself in something that, I don't know what this is, just hit that button and it will take you right back home, okay? Um, on the left side here, you have what are called uh, your recent apps button. So if you ever open something, oh, for example, these are, these are apps. Um, which is just a, a version of software. So if you had a computer, they would be called um, applications or software, but on a phone, they're called apps. So if you ever open an app, let's say you open up again, uh, the internet, that's an app, and you go home, the app is still running in the background of the phone. It's just not on the screen. So if you hit this button, which is the recent apps, you can then go right back to what you were using, whatever app that is, you can go right back to it. So this just allows you to see all the different things that are running on your phone. So again, if you ever open something, if you wanna get right back to it, you just press that button, this button right here. It shows you everything running and there you go. Now, you may press this button and notice there's a lot of things running on the phone. How do I close everything? Well, if you swipe up until you see the close all button, press that. <coughs> Excuse me. You press the close all button and it closes all of the apps that we're currently running. So now when you press this, it says there's no recently used apps. Everything is closed. So that's how you close things and make your battery last longer. Now on, on the other side, you have another button. It's a, just again, it's a touch button. So this always, this is basically your back button. It takes you back one step. So if I were to go to um, the settings, for example, or let's see, if I were to go to Google again, this is just the easiest example to use here. And let's say I were to click on something on this page, okay? Notice I'm using my finger to just scroll up and down. So in the past, on a computer, you'd have a mouse and you would use that to scroll up and down. Smartphone, you just use your finger to scroll up and down. That's how you navigate the screen. Let's say I click on this little Facebook icon here. It's gonna take me to another web page. If I press the back button, it will take me back one step. So I was just on this page, I clicked on the Facebook icon, and then I tapped this to go back one. Now if I press it again, it's gonna take me out of the app. It always takes you back one step. So if I press it now, the app is gonna close, or it should close, it didn't close, interesting. It basically takes you back one step. On a website, it's a bit different, but it basically will take you back one step in terms of whatever you were doing. Most applications or apps, if you open it and you press it, so for example, if I tap on the Play Store, and then I tap on Games, if I press it once, it'll take me back one step. If I press it again, it takes me home. 
So it just think of it as one step back, that's what it does. Now, now that we've gone over that, again, we talked about all these little icons. These are your different apps or applications. It's just like software for a computer, but they're, again, apps for a phone. Um, so you can swipe left and right to see different applications that you have. And there's more applications on the phone. And if you want to see all the apps on the phone, you just you start from the bottom and just swipe up and that will show you the other things that you have on the phone. You might download a game or another app and you're like, I can't find it, where is it? Well, it's gonna be in this section. So press this button, our home button to go home. And if I wanna go back to the page to see all my apps, I just, with your finger, I just swipe up and there it is. These are all the applications on your phone. Now, you might say, okay, that's good. So now I know where everything is. How do I get more applications for the phone? So maybe you wanna download a game or something uh, other than what's already on the phone. You would go to this, which is called the Play Store. The Play Store is where you download uh, different, um, different things for your phone. So again, if you want a slot machine game, if you want uh, a, a, a Sudoku game, if you want a crossword puzzle, word search, you would get it in the Play Store. So let's tap on here. Now, you might see this screen, which is the main screen of the Play Store, or you might have gotten a pop-up that says to sign into your Gmail. If you get the pop-up that says to sign in, it means that you have to create a Google account or Google or a Gmail in order to get to this screen. Um, if you already have a Gmail, that's great. If you don't have one, you would have to go back home and then you would have to uh, go to this folder here which says Google. Or actually, let me not confuse you. Um, on this screen, again, you wouldn't see this, but it might say sign to your Google account. Um, on uh, Right below signing in, you might see a button that says create account. If you click on that, you'll be able to create your own Gmail account. So then, once you go back to the Play Store, you'll see this screen. So try that. If you guys have any trouble with that, I can do a separate video on how to set up a new Gmail account. Just leave a comment down below and I'll create that video if you guys need that. So we're in the Play Store. We wanna download some type of game. Uh, so in this section that says Google, you're gonna just tap right there and then your keyboard is gonna pop up. And we're gonna type in Sudoku. Maybe we wanna download a Sudoku game. You're gonna type it in and hit the magnifying glass in the bottom left corner and that's gonna search and show you the different Sudoku games that are available. And so this one looks really easy, sudoku.com. I'm gonna tap here. And then you're gonna tap on the install button. And now it's gonna download it onto the phone. So really easy. That's all it takes to download a new game or application to the phone. And you can download as many as you have storage for. So it'll tell you if you're running out of space, but on this phone you have plenty of space. We're gonna click on open. And just press okay. Uh, you can tap the bubble here and hit start just to get past this. Accept. So now we're in our Sudoku game. And it looks like there's some uh, how to play instructions. So you, you wanna look around the screen for arrows or words because that's how you navigate different applications. So if you see an arrow, you would tap on that. And you see now we're on the main game here and then I can play Sudoku by tapping numbers. For this one, it looks like you have to tap on a box and then put a number in and it tells you if it's right or wrong. Once you're finished playing, what are we gonna do? We're gonna hit our home button and that's gonna take us back to the main screen. Now later, if you decide you wanna play that game again, we just swipe up and swipe to your left and there's your Sudoku game, okay? So you wanna get used to the fact that you're gonna be swiping a lot left and right. That's how you navigate a smartphone is you've gotta swipe left and right, in some cases up and down, and that shows you more options. We're gonna go back home, and 
those are probably the, the main things you would need to know. Um, one more thing, or let's go over two more things. So how to make a phone call, which would be in the phone app. You just tap on the phone and then tap on this, which is the dial pad. And then you're gonna type in the phone number. So type in a phone number and then press the, the little phone symbol button right here and this will make the call. So really easy. So let's press it really quickly just so you can see. And then when you want to hang up, you're gonna press um, this button right here and that'll hang up the call for you, okay? So that's how you make a phone call. If you wanna send a text message, you would tap on messages. And in the bottom right, you're gonna tap on this little icon right here, which allows you to create a new message. So tap on that. And then up here, you can type in a, the phone number that you wanna send the message to. So tap here and type in the phone number. So you're gonna, uh, once you type it in, if you hit the magnifying glass, then you'll tap on right here on the number and you're gonna hit start. Now the phone number is in there. Now all you have to do is type your message, hello. And then you hit this little blue button right here and that's gonna send the message to the person. So that's just a quick how to make a phone call, how to send a text message. The next thing we'll go over is how to take a picture. So you will need to get to your camera and the camera is right here actually. So you're ready to take a picture, just tap on the camera. And then we just point and then the little white bubble at the bottom here, tap that, take a picture. If you want to take a video, you're going to tap the red button here and it'll begin to record a video. When you're finished, press the white button again to stop and you're all done. The next thing is if you want to, sorry, so those are sort of the most of the basic things you'd need to know. The last thing I want to go over is uh, what's called the notification panel. So when you do set up uh, your email or other things on the phone, the phone will begin to uh, like make noises and it'll let you know when you have like an incoming message. The way you check that is by right where it says Samsung, just sliding it down with your finger. This is called your notification panel. So right now I have a, a message that says that I have some apps on the phone that have to be updated. So you could tap on that to um, do those updates if you want or you can ignore it. You also have what are called switches up here. And those different switches basically allow you to uh, control different things on the phone. So if you wanted to connect to the internet this is your Wi-Fi icon. If you hold down, just take your finger and put it on it, it'll take you to your Wi-Fi section so you can connect to a wireless network if you want to, or your home network, or if you go to Denny's or Starbucks, you can connect to their network. Um, and you have some other options here. So your airplane mode, you have a flashlight, mobile hotspot, and you have your GPS. So these are all turned on just by just tapping them. So I can tap the flashlight, Turn it on, if it's blue, it's on. So there's my flashlight, see that? And if I wanna turn it off, I just tap it again, and the light is off. So it's just that easy. So these are all things that you wanna play around with. When you're finished with this section, just swipe up and it goes away, just like that. So these are some of the basics on how to use the Samsung Galaxy J7 Star. Wanted to keep it brief, not, not have too long of a video, and just go over how to use this for a first time user. So I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you also uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, take care and have a good one.